Jan. My name is Leora. I'm Dr. Rachel's care team coordinator. How are you today? Good. Well, good. Thanks. Good. We're going to go in this room right here, and if I could have you have a seat next to the computer for me. All right, Jan, can I just have you verify your last name and date of birth? Sure. Last name is Jones, and then date of birth is 515-1970. All right, and I have you here for your plan care visit, and you had your labs done yesterday, so we'll go over those. And did you have any other concerns for Dr. Rachel today? Well, I've noticed that my right ear has been hurting, um, but I started swimming, so I don't know if I just have water caught in it or if there's an ear infection. And how many days ago did that start? Mm -hmm. About eight. Eight days ago? Okay. And any other symptoms at all, like any ear drainage, um, achiness, chills, congestion? No, just the ear pain? Okay. And then you said that you started swimming. And then how would you rate your pain today? Um, probably just like a three or a four. It seems to get a lot worse at night though. Okay. And have you tried anything for the ear pain? Um, I took some Sudafed just over the counter just to see if that would help but and did it didn't. help okay all right and then do you have a family history of diabetes at all yeah my um my dad has it okay. so he was a type 1 and then um, are you having any symptoms such as increased thirst hunger urination um, I've noticed going to the bathroom a little bit more okay it does it happen more at night mm -hmm. okay All right, and for your medications, do you take them pretty regularly or do you ever occasionally miss a dose? Um, on occasion. But otherwise, you, for the yeah. most part, you take them pretty regularly? And I'm pretty sure that the medication said if you missed it, just wait until it was the next time, so. Yes. Okay. Good. We need refills on the lisinopril and the simvastatin. Um, did you want to use the Bell & Pharmacy downstairs? Oh, that'd be great. Perfect. And do you smoke or use smokeless tobacco? No. All righty. Now I'm going to get your blood pressure. If I could have you uncross your legs for me, and are you able to roll a sleeve up? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Is this, does that work? That'll be perfect. All right, and I show that you are due for your mammogram, so we'll go ahead and get that ordered, and we'll get that scheduled at the end of the visit. Okay. And I also show that you are due for the pneumonia vaccine. Is that something that you would be interested in today? Yeah, can you... Can we do it today? Yep, we can do that today. Great. So we'll go ahead and get that ordered as well. And then I show that you need a foot exam today. So since your sugars have been elevated, uh, that's something where we're gonna wanna start monitoring your feet, make sure that there's no sores or ulcers on them, okay? Oh, okay. I think Dr. Rachel might still be in another room, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that pneumonia vaccine okay. uh, set, and then I'll come in and give it. If you want, you can read through this. And have you been in since we've started team-based care? Um, no, what's team-based care? So if it's okay with you, I'll be coming back in the room with Dr. Rachel. I'm just gonna be focusing on the computer stuff so then Dr. Rachel can have more face-to-face -face time with you. Um, if something personal comes up that you rather not have me in the room, then just let me know and I'd be happy to step out. Oh. Um, is it okay if I come back in the room? Yeah, that'd be great. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna go get your pneumonia shot and let Dr. Rachel know that you are all set, okay? All right, sounds good, thank you. You're welcome. Jan again. This Hi. is Dr. Rachel. Hi. Hi. It's nice to see nice you again. Nice to see you. Alrighty. So we have Jan in for her plan care visit. She had her labs done yesterday. Uh, her glucose has been elevated, so we added on the A1C. Uh, she's been checking her blood pressures at home. Top number has been about 130 over, or 130 to 40s, and bottom number has been less than 90s. She also complains of some right ear pain. She started swimming. Um, the ear pain started about eight days ago now. Um, no other symptoms, and she's tried Sudafed without relief. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me before we go over your labs today? Well, a little concerned about the elevated glucose. Yeah, so we did notice on your labs that your sugars have been running a little bit high, and I know you have a family history of um, diabetes. Mm -hmm. So we did add on a test called the hemoglobin A1C, and that tells me what your sugars have been doing over the last two to three months instead of just that one moment in time when we checked your fasting blood sugar. Um, if that number is above 6.5, we consider you to be diabetic. Anything below 6.5, you're not diabetic, but maybe in the pre-diabetic range. 
Um, your number came back at 7.2. Oh. Um, so that does put you into the diabetic range. And I know you're a little bit familiar with diabetes because of your dad having it. Um, we do have a clinic nurse who can come in um, after I'm done with you um, and just kind of go over some basic information about diabetes and what it means and you know what kind of testing you're going to have to do as routine follow-up and everything. Because okay. um, it's a lot to take in. Yeah. Um, so she can really take the time with you to explain everything that you need. How many milligrams for the metformin? Let's start her out at 500 milligrams twice a day on that one. Are there any side effects or anything I should worry about with the metformin? Um, some people do get a little bit of an upset stomach with the metformin. Okay. Um, and then we'll want to recheck some labs and get you back in for another office visit in about three months. Okay. Um, we'll do a BMT and an A1C at that time. Um, she'll also need a microalbumin with that uh, visit as well. Um, so make sure you come ready to give us a urine sample next time. <laughs> okay. We have to check your urine at least once a year when you're diabetic. Okay. So the good news is your cholesterol and blood pressure all look really good right now. Oh, great. Um, it's really important to keep those under control when you're diabetic as well. So. And the numbers at home are okay even when they're up a little bit? Um, we like to keep them under 140, so those couple that are sneaking up into the 140s, um, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay. I'm hoping with changing your diet and exercise habits that those will come down, but it's something we'll want to keep an eye on. Okay. Um, but we're not going to bump up your medications <laughs> just yet. Okay. So, um, so let me just take a quick listen to you here, and we're going to check your feet. Okay. Um, the diabetes did you want um, um let's do type 2 with hyperglycemia okay. for her dr rachel i'm getting a flag for the metformin and ckd um it looks like her gfr is above 50 so we can go ahead and send that perfect and then she also has the right ear pain oh that's right let me take a look Leora's going to get all of your medications sent. She'll get your labs okay. um, ordered for you. She'll get you set up for your follow-up visits. Um, and then once she's all done with all of that, then um, she's going to get our clinic RN to come in and give you a lot more detail about the diabetes and everything you need to know about it. All right, sounds good. And then the pneumonia shot also? Yep, and I will be sure to give that to you all right. before you leave. Any other questions for me before I leave? No, I think I think that's good. Okay. Excellent. Thank sounds you so good. much, Dr. Rachel. You're welcome. We'll see you in three months. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So we'll go ahead and get you scheduled for your appointments. And I show that you are not active on the portal. Uh, what the online portal is, is you can view your records online, like results. If you want to send the doctor's office a message, you can do that too. Request refills. Is that something that you would be interested in? Oh, absolutely. All right. So we'll get you signed up for that. First, we'll schedule your appointments. Okay. All right. So she's looking at three months out. So we'll do your lab, your mammogram, and also your office visit with Dr. Rachel. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go over your after visit summary. Okay. Uh, here's your medications. Uh, continue taking your lisinopril and your simvastatin. We're adding the metformin. So you're for one week, you're going to take one tablet. And then at week two, you're going to start taking one tablet twice a day. Okay. And then to take it with meals, um, continue your other medications. For your ear pain, you're just going to take your ibuprofen. Okay. And then here's the information um, just for your login for your online portal. Great. And then the medication will be at the pharmacy yep. downstairs? Yeah. Great. It's already sent down there. And then two, I also put in some information on diabetes and stuff. But I'm going to go get the RN, and then she'll come in and give you some uh, diabetic education, okay? Excellent. Uh, any other questions or concerns for me at all? No, I think that's fine. Sounds good. And then, too, I'm going to go get your pneumonia shot and I'll get the RN, okay? <laughs> all right, sounds good. Thanks. You're welcome.